wheel of time turns, and ages come and go, leaving memories that become legend. Legend fades to myth, and even myth is long forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again. In one such age, long past, the age of legends, mankind enjoyed a time of prosperity. Certain people, called Aes Sedai, were born with the ability to sense and channel the One Power. This was the energy at the center of the universe, the driving force of creation. Drawing on the One Power, the Aes Sedai could accomplish anything. They controlled the weather, healed the sick, and gained virtual immortality. With mastery came arrogance. One woman used her power to bore a hole into a place existing outside time and creation. This released a dark presence into the world. Although it took the name Shaitan, it became known by many others. Father of lies, soul's bane, or most commonly, the Dark One. Many flocked to the Dark One's banner, including 13 of the most powerful Aes Sedai, known later as the Forsaken. Their army was filled with twisted creatures created by the Dark One out of nightmare. Trollocs and their horrific masters, the Murdral. The War of the Shadow had begun. A man called the Dragon led an assault against Chael Ghul, the location of the boar, and he succeeded in forcing the Dark One back through the breach. He closed it off, trapping the Dark One and the Thirteen Forsaken on the other side. The dragon created a collection of palm-sized stone seals to contain the power that kept the prison closed. These seals the dragon entrusted to the remaining Aes Sedai. For years, the Aes Sedai kept the seals safe in the White Tower. But the Dark One had his revenge. Moments before his banishment, in a final blow against the dragon, he tainted the male aspect of the One Power. The taint drove every man who could channel insane. And uncontrolled, these madmen rent the very earth with their power. This time became known as the Breaking of the World. The women of the Aes Sedai rallied and eventually destroyed the male channelers. But many of the seals were lost in the chaos. Only two remained within the White Tower. To this day, the Aes Sedai search for the missing seals. But unknown to them, others search as well. What was, what will be, and what is, may yet fall under the shadow. Elena, in order to be initiated into the White Tower, you must be tested. The artifact you see here is a special Tirangrial for this purpose. Walk through each of its arches in turn. They will bring you face to face with your greatest fears. Don't panic, but listen for my voice. I will guide you through. In this way, we start your training. The first time is for what was. The way back will come but once. Be steadfast. You were a curious child, Elena. A cave-in trapped you inside this dark cavern. You huddled in the blocked entrance for hours, terrified of the dark. Finally, someone from your village dug you out. That's not going to happen now. Because you never actually explored this cave, it is forged from your suspicions. It is what you feared it might be. You must face it and escape. 
Follow my directions and all will be well. In this part of the cavern, it's safe to move around. Explore a bit. Stay still. The way is open to the passage. Follow it, but be careful. You may have to jump over some of the debris. The exit is in sight, Elena, but out of reach. There must be another way to the arch. Steal yourself and drop down. That's good, child. The water kept you from being hurt, but still, you may want to gather some of the roots that grow here for later. They have healing properties. You should know that the root works better if you're still. The only exit appears to be through the water. Dive in. Don't stay too long. Even I Sedai can drown. There's another exit to this pond. Swim to it. The arch is close, but there's a climb first. The path is broken, so you'll have to leap over the holes. Be wary of quakes. The way back will come but once. Walk through the arch. You've done well, Elena, but you've only begun. The second time is for what is. The way back will come but once. Be steadfast. Elena, your virtually non-existent ability to channel is crippling. Fear of failure has driven you to use Tirangrial as crutches, yet you still hide from the world, doing research in the White Tower. Only the lure of new artifacts could draw you from the safety of the tower. These are the basements of a powerful dark friend who also collects Tirangrial, a collection protected by traps. Try the door, Elena, although the lock doesn't bode well. <sighs> so much for that. You must explore this storeroom for another exit, or find the key to this one. Ah, a Tirangrial. Take it. Your experience allows you to identify the functions of new artifacts. When you pick up a Tirangrial, examine it to understand how to use it. You can use air pulse to break or push things like these crates. Some, bound by iron, are unbreakable. Others open without much effort. Some crates hold iron. Break open these crates, Elena. You've triggered one of the Dark Friend's traps. It protects the key in this alcove. This portcullis isn't reinforced. You should be able to break through it with air pulse. This time, you have a key. This corridor is blocked by a reinforced portcullis, opened only by a lever on the other side. You cannot break through. There is another artifact here, though. Take and research it. The glow around the Tirangrial means that it will reappear here if you use all of its charges. Step up to the portcullis and use the shift artifact. Now pull the lever to open the portcullis. When you use the only charge of the shift artifact, it reappeared. Take it again and use it to pass through the remaining portcullis. This trap 
is the deadliest one. A stream of fireballs prevents anyone from going further. However, the fire shield artifact here protects against both weaves of fire and fire-based environmental hazards. Take and use it. Then walk down this hall. The fire shield is a passive defense. There are much stronger defensive artifacts, such as the Reflect Tirangreal found here. Take, research, and use it against the trap. <laughs> you might want to use your light globe, Elena. It's dark. You're amassing quite the collection of Tirangreal. Why don't you use your new fireball artifact against this wall trap? The arch is there, Elena. Uh. You must watch where you're walking, child. Now, quickly climb up the wall and leave this dreadful place. The arch won't stay forever. Steady, Elena. You've endured much, but learned much as well. I know each test is hard, but what comes is the worst of all. The third time is for what will be. The way back will come but once. Be steadfast. In this time, you are an emissary of the White Tower. A diplomatic mission brought you to Faldara, an outpost on the Borderlands, whose soldiers hold the forces of the Dark One within the Blight. They didn't expect the sudden, concentrated assault that overwhelmed the Keep. No doubt in search of you. Now it's only a matter of time until the Trollocs and Murdral find the chamber in which you hide. Because you cannot channel, you are forced to rely on the Sister and Warder accompanying you for protection, but they are outnumbered. Your only chance is to set traps for the invaders. There is only one exit, and the invaders are likely just outside. That's where they'll enter. Two paths lead from this door to the main room where you'll be. You must channel the invaders through one of the corridors in order to ensure that they'll encounter your traps. Place a makeshift wall to block the shorter path. Very good, child. Now place two spear traps along the remaining corridor. It's tight enough to make the spears effective. Not there, child. That won't do you much good. Good. Now, one more. Good. Now place one more spear trap. Although damaged by the spears, the Trollocs won't stop. They will likely just become angrier and charge out of the corridor into the main room. A pit at the opening might make a nice welcome. Now position your companions, the sister and her warder. Although it would be safest to keep them in the main room, you can place them anywhere. One more precaution, child. Activate the portcullis in front of the alcove in back of the main room. It might just save your life. You've done well, Elena, and you're as ready as you can be. Steal yourself. The Trolloc Horde is gathering outside, and the door won't hold them off for long. Sister? 
The archway has appeared, Elena. You must go now. The light illumined. Don't tarry. The arch won't last forever. Go to the archway, Elena. Escape while you still can. There's no way to save your companions. You are washed clean, Elena, of all ties that bind you to the world. You come to us washed clean in heart and soul. You are sealed to the White Tower now. You are ready. Another age, called the Third Age by some, an age yet to come, an age long past. A wind rises in the Dragon Mount. The wind is not the beginning. There are neither beginnings nor endings to the turning of the Wheel of Time. But it is a beginning. The wind dives down through the streets of Tarvalon, the city surrounding the White Tower. Shutters slam closed in its wake. People hug their cloaks and race inside their homes. Without knowing why, they sense that the wind brings a chill. It has nothing to do with the weather. Elena Sedai, the Keeper of the Chronicles of the White Tower, the right hand of the Amelin Seat, is touched by the wind. She shivers. Elena is Aes Sedai, but she can't channel the One Power more than a trickle. Because of this, some wonder if her friendship with the Amelin isn't the only reason for her position. But few can question her mastery of the tower's collection of Tyr Angrial, artifacts from the Age of Legends that can perform wondrous tasks with the One Power without requiring the user to channel. Elena is of the Brown Aja, one of seven different factions in the tower. While some dedicate themselves to finding and eliminating men that can channel, like the Red, or championing worthy causes like the blue. The brown Aja is dedicated to the gathering and preservation of knowledge. It's no wonder that Elena finds herself working late into the night. What is that? A report from the expedition of Brown Aja sisters that I sent to the Borderlands. And? It's not good news. They used the maps I discovered, but haven't found anything resembling a cache of Tirangrial or one of the Quendler seals. Even worse, they've had some trouble with the local White Cloaks. Apparently, the garrison leader hates Aes Sedai. White Cloaks? That's a nickname for the army known as the Children of the Light, because of their White Cloaks. They're fanatics. They claim they're battling the Dark One, but most of the time, they just terrorize the public. I don't like their tactics. Can you answer the door, Kieran? You're the witch who can't channel, right? Where are the seals? Where are the seals? Uh. Mm, they've got to be here somewhere. Played for a fool. The seals aren't here at all. We all grieve for the loss of Kirin Sedai, my child. I know she was your friend, but she was just one of fourteen sisters murdered this night. You are the only surviving witness. Witness to what? 
Who was that man? Why was he demanding the seals? I thought it was public knowledge that only the Amarlin knows where they are hidden. Public knowledge inside of the tower. I believe that this was his first visit. But how did he get in? How did he get to my room? Ah, oh, yes. Despite the casualties, I doubt that he could have made it to your chambers without assistance. Assistance? Black Asha. I have no proof, so I want to hear none of this from you outside of this room. But I have suspected for some time that a few of our sisters have allied with the Dark One. Who? I cannot say. Not yet. Why are you telling me? I was the only one left alive. Wouldn't that implicate me? You're not Black Aja, child. I'd stake my life on it. In fact, I already have. This man was here to take our seals, although I can't guess why. But he didn't even come close to success. Either his attempt was poorly planned, or there's something here that we don't understand. Regardless, he did manage to murder our sisters and steal your store of Tyr Angrial. And the whole tower knows about it. That reminds me. There was a panel hidden in the wall of my chamber that I'd never come across. It held an unfamiliar Tyr Angrial. <sighs> yes, I know. I put that panel in your wall back when it was my chamber. The artifact inside was very important. This is what we need to discuss. The sitters of the hall are understandably furious. Right now, they are scattering our home guard into the countryside to search for the assassin, which they do against my wishes. Don't mistake me, child. I'm just as angry as the others. But I hesitate to leave the White Tower with a skeleton force to go look for a needle in a haystack. And this man carries my artifact. If he is discovered by someone not true to the tower... I understand. What do you want from me? I believe this is yours. It's a report found on your desk. Given the handprint, the man has obviously read it. The report claims that a seal might be located in the borderlands to the west. I thought that after his failure here, he might try again there. It was a flimsy lead, but I had nothing else. My eyes and ears along that path have confirmed that he is indeed heading southwest. They also tell me that he has surrounded himself with a regiment of Trollocs. This slows him down, and will make it difficult to cross the Manetherendral River, since he can't travel through Whitebridge. If you hurry, you should be able to overtake him in the woods outside of Shadar Logoth. Try to catch him before he reaches the city. You certainly don't want to be chasing after him inside of that cursed place. Me? How am I supposed to handle an assassin and a regiment of Trollocs? I can't channel the One Power more than a trickle. Even he knew that. I can't trust anyone else. You've been studying our Tirangreal for years. No one is more proficient in their use. These artifacts can make you as powerful as any other sister, if not more. Take whatever we have left. Be careful, though. He's obviously been trained to use Tirangreal himself. Also, watch for any of our forces tracking the assassin. They may get lucky. And you must reach him before they do. Find this man and bring back what he has stolen. More than you know depends on it. Tarval and Gold convinced a sailor to take me down the Manether Endril, but drawing nearer to Shatter Logoth made him increasingly nervous. He finally left me off, saying that this is the closest he'd come to the cursed city. The assassin has already been here. He and his Trollocs left a swath of destruction in their wake. Others from the tower are bound to find it. The Trollocs' latest victims appear to be a caravan of peace-sworn tinkers, but I'm too late to help them. I must try to overtake the assassin before we near the city. What's inside scares even the Shadow Sworn.
blood and ashes. I said I leave me alone. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You witless brutes! She'll be here any moment! I said die, witch! Burn you and your kind! Let me alone! Ducking into the alcove managed to save my life, but the assassin has slipped through my grasp. This tunnel might lead into the city, but Shadar Logoth is huge. Finding him won't be easy. I'm not at all eager to enter the city anyway. Shadar Logoth fell into ruin thousands of years ago in the battle against the Dark One, but it became something sinister. An evil apart from the Shadow. The assassin won't find any friends here, but the horrors inside await me as well.
is a cursed maze. Blood and ashes, where is the exit? Stop, murderer! <laughs> Witch, this is your fault. The city will kill both of us, and it's on your head. Why didn't you just let me go? The assassin has put himself in the heart of the web. The streets of the city are deadly. The bowels are only worse. I can't imagine what they hide, and I hope I don't find out.
Christ, said I. Burn you. Leave me alone. Here. I know you're following me. You want, you want those trinkets I stole from the tower, right? Well, I hit them. I hit them somewhere in the city. You'll never find them without me. You need me, I said I. Think here. Worse than anything up above. And he knows I'm here. I can hear it coming for me. I can kill you with the tower. Uh, I shall be mercy. The great Lord help me, I don't want to die. Save me.
Enough! Spare me! Light, you deserve to die a thousand times for what you've done. I was a pawn. A dupe. Ishmael set me up to die. Ishmael? Not the Forsaken. He's just a children's tale. One of the thirteen chosen by the Dark Lord. Probably the most powerful of them all. He's very real. If you'd seen what I've seen... You don't refuse Ishmael when he commands you, my dear. You're a dark friend. He wouldn't be commanding you if you hadn't already promised your soul to the Dark One. And by the way you ordered those Trollocs around, I'd say you had some status. Trollocs don't obey pawns. They eat them. Status? Not any more, I'd wager. Ishmael sent me to the White Tower. I was to walk in, steal a Quendalar seal, and bring it to him. Agents inside were supposed to lead me right to it. Simple. Bloodless. Instead, they led me to your chamber, nowhere near anything that resembled a seal, and forced me to kill a number of sisters in order to escape. Now I've been marked. I won't be able to go anywhere without looking over my shoulder for Aes Sedai. My life is worthless. If you want pity, look elsewhere. I'm waiting for you to tell me where you've hidden my trinkets. Otherwise, I would have put you down already, like a rabid hound. You can't lie. All Aes Sedai are bound by the Three Oaths. Tell me that you'll spare my life, and I'll show you where the Tyrangriel are. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here a long time. Why did you come here to hide? It's about the most terrible place I can imagine. Out of the pot and into the fire, eh? I didn't choose it. I was heading back to Ishmael's fortress in the Mountains of Mist for lack of anywhere else to go. You caught me outside. I was hoping you'd be too frightened to follow me in. I was wrong. However, you're avoiding the question. Will you spare my life? If you don't walk out of this city, it will not be of my doing. <laughs> I suppose that's as good as I'm going to get. Let's go. <laughs> Just look! More gold than I've ever seen. More than I could have dreamed of. What can Ishmael offer that compares to this? Where are my artifacts, Hound? Woof. <laughs> is that all you want? Look at this. There is more than enough for both of us. My Tirangrial assassin. Now. Fine. They're buried in that corner.
We need your help. We tracked the assassin to this city, but found the entrance blocked by rock. We managed to find another way in further down the wall, but it might as well be miles from here. Shortly after we entered, a swarm of those horrible creatures attacked us. We might have been able to defend ourselves against them, but the mist itself rose up behind us and killed nearly half our number. We scattered. Many of our party were separated. Even now they're somewhere out there. The few here managed to stay together. Our original entrance is blocked, so we decided to make our way here and try to dig our way through the rubble. We've made a lot of progress, but I think the city knows we're here, and it's sending its monsters to destroy us. The Light Send will have enough time to break through before we are all dead. The sister in charge has given command to me. If we can survive until dawn, the city's forces will retreat and we'll be able to focus our efforts on digging through the rubble wall. But what of those who were separated? Should I try to rescue them? Or are they dead already? Orders, you are with me. In the chaos following the escape, I lost my companions. There was nothing to do but hope that they would eventually return to the White Tower. The trip back was long and difficult, especially alone and guarding the Amarlin's Tier Angreal. It took fully three weeks to arrive home. I was greeted by Tar Valon, 
The city surrounding the White Tower, in ruins. Nothing less than an army could have caused this. But what army? And why? I scanned for the White Tower, hoping against hope that it still stood. Thank the light it did, but besieged by countless Trollocs and Murdral. That told me some, but clearly my answers lay inside. I decided to sneak in. Amerlin? What are you doing in the Amerlin's chamber? Why are you holding one of the tower's seals? Where is the Amerlin's seat? Keeper Elena, it is wonderful to see you alive. I had my doubts about whether you'd return. Naturally, the situation here is quite distressing, but I expect you to remember that you are addressing a sitter of the hall. I require a certain amount of decorum. Of course, Sitter Sephram. If you would be so kind, could you explain your presence here? As you wish, Keeper. Shortly after the Dark One's army arrived in Tar Valan, the Amralin called a council. She announced that she was giving control of the tower's defense to Rislin of the Blue, but only to hold until you return when she should defer to the Keeper. In the argument that followed, the Amralin seat disappeared, not just from the council chamber, but from the tower, it seems. She's left us all to our fate. Rislin has done an admirable job given her experience, but it's clear, even to her, that the Hall should hold the responsibility of the Tower's defense. When asked, Rislin immediately handed over command. To that end, I've been searching for the Tower's seals. To defend against the invaders, of course. The seals are the responsibility of the Amarlin. You have no right to ransack her chambers. You have no claim to them. Where is the Amralin Keeper? She cannot defend the seals if she is not here. We have reason to believe that the seals are what the invaders search for. I will keep this one safe, since I haven't run away from the danger like a coward. But I am here, Sitter. And I've been given command of the tower by order of the Amralin Seat. Thank you for holding the seal for me. I'll see that it remains safe. The invaders have broken through the front gate and turned the White Tower into a battlefield. Our home guard continues to search the countryside for the assassin. The remaining warders and sisters have tried valiantly to defend the tower, but they are outnumbered. And while the gate lies open, Trollocs and Murdral stream inside to replace their dead. Although the outer gate may have been breached, there is an inner gate. If I can reach and close it, we may have a chance to destroy the invaders already inside. Sister? I will do as you say. I will guard the seal. I will guard this area. The light illumine you.
The light, the light illumined. Orders, you are with me.
Elena, Keeper of the Chronicles, the light send that your eyes find this message. I regret my absence at your return, but the Dark One's attack, both from outside and in, has forced me to ignore the tower's defense in favor of the safety of our most sacred charge, the Quendalar Seal. I can trust no one. Sitter Sephram has gathered her forces and expelled those who could threaten her power. I fear the entire hall has fallen. As you know, only one seal can be carried at a time. Of the towers, too, I was forced to leave one concealed in my chambers. The other I brought to an ancient vault hidden in the basements of the tower. The safest place possible. I need you to come with all speed. These Tirangrial should lead you safely to me. Go to the deepest basement and invoke the tracer. The artifact's power will reveal the trail to the closest seal, which will lead to the concealed entrance of the vault. From there, the way is riddled with traps. Detect traps will alert you to the most devious. Your own dexterity should carry you through the remainder. I can only hope that you've been successful in regaining what was stolen. If ever the tower needed that tear angry all, it is now. What have we gained with this alliance? As soon as Ishmael started giving us orders, everything went wrong. We were doing fine alone. Soon the tower would have been ours. Ishmael is bringing it down around our heads. We brought his stooge into the tower as he commanded. We emptied the tower to search for this assassin as he commanded. Then, with our forces spread throughout the countryside, he sends his army through the way gate to destroy us. If it weren't for that troublesome brown keeper of ours, he would have succeeded. Thank the light that our home guard is returning as we speak. Who knows when Ishmael may attack again? If the Forsaken has his way, there won't be a tower to rule. You are... unhappy? You misunderstand your places. Your reward is not the rule of this pitiful tower. Your reward is to serve Ishmael without hesitation, without question. If he were here instead of me, if he had heard your words, you would all be dead. Or worse. From what I see, you now have command of the tower, Sephram. The Amaralyn seat is gone. You sit in her place. Where are the seals? Seals, my lord? The tower has but two seals. It seems that the first disappeared with the Amaralyn seat. We suspect she is still within the tower, but we have been unable to find her. The second is currently in the possession of the Keeper. This is your tower! You can't keep track of your own? You can't hold on to your most prized possessions? Ishmael wants those seals. This should have been a simple collection. Your incompetence has compromised everything. Find the Amaralyn. Find the Keeper, get the seals they hold, and do it quickly before your home guard arrives. If you fail me, you'll wish for the death I gave your companion. <laughs> there are too many questions and no answers. And the only one who can change this is the Amarlin. The note she left for me in the secret compartment was comforting. Evidently, she's alive and holds the remaining seal. I hope her artifacts will lead me to her safely. I'm giving my others to sisters that I'm trusting to guard my chamber. I am a little worried, though. Traps designed to keep people out of a vault in the White Tower are bound to be devious and deadly.
Escape from yourself. Oh. 
my daughter. I feared that you'd never return to the tower, or that if you did, you wouldn't make it here alive. I feared that the White Tower was lost. It may yet be, Mother. The Hall has all but admitted that they are Black Aja. They search for us even now. They want the seals for their master, the Forsaken known as Ishmael. How can we stand against them? Dare I hope that you recovered the Tirangrial from the Assassin? I did, Mother. Oh, this is our salvation. I foresaw this day long ago. Even then, I could trust no one inside the tower for fear of the Black Aja. But I needed allies. So, even before I was raised to Amelin, I searched in the most remote towns and villages for new candidates. I found you, child, fairly glowing with the One Power. I'd never encountered such potential. But I can't channel more than a trickle. My doing, Elena. <gasps> the test I gave you then wasn't a test at all. I already knew everything I needed. You probably don't remember, but I had you channel through this. It shields the user from the One Power. The shield allows you to sense the true source, to touch it, but to draw no more than a tiny fraction of your potential. My daughter, had I brought you here with such power, the Black Aja would have recruited or destroyed you. You needed to be taught how to control your abilities. Left alone, you surely would have brought disaster upon yourself and your family. This was the only way to hide you until it was safe to lift the shield, or until the tower needed you. Keeper, the tower needs you now. You can rid me of this shield? The artifact works both ways. Raising the shield is easy. The recipient simply has to channel through the Tirangrial. Lowering it is trickier. But I've been preparing myself for this day for quite a while. It's time to give you your birthright, my child. I Sedai are more sadistic than I thought. Shielding your only ally, making her life miserable, just so you can have an ace up your sleeve? That's terrible. We meet again. I suppose I should return the favor you did me. After all, you led me here. Let me see, how did you put it? If you don't walk out of here, it will not be of my doing. <laughs> You left me oh. in there! This is an interesting artifact. Imagine, I carried it for so long without an idea of what I held. It might prove useful. Kill her. No! You will know before you die, Amralin. See what the Dark One has given me. <laughs> and where's your seal keeper? I'd like it back now. Traitor! It's not here. It's safe from you. She's right. She doesn't have the seal. I can tell. You will tear this tower apart until you find that seal. My master needs two more to fulfill his plans, and we're not leaving here until we have both. My lord, the home guard has arrived. We must leave immediately. Too many people know. Go! One more seal, that's all I need. If I can't have your second, I'll find one elsewhere. 
I believe that your expedition in the borderlands was on the trail of a seal. Perhaps I'll pay them a visit. <laughs> Some of the returning warders reported that they saw the traitors enter the local waygate. They escaped the same way that the army of Shadowspawn arrived. They're gone. The home guard has returned. We've rooted out the Black Aja. The White Tower is safe. They killed the Amalan seat. They took our seal. The hall was filled with treachery. Now it is empty. What remains of the White Tower exists only because they didn't finish destroying it. The hall isn't entirely empty. You're still here. Why? Why am I here? I did nothing to stop them from killing the Amarlin. They could have killed me too, but I was beneath their notice. I'm useless. You are Aes Sedai. You are the Keeper of the Chronicles. I shouldn't have to pick your dignity off of the floor. If I thought it would do you some good, I'd send you to the Mistress of Novices. A switch across your back might remind you that you're still alive. You have no time to snivel. The White Tower needs you. As what? An advisor to a dead Amerlin? No. Not that. You can't be serious. Of course I am. You're the last of the Hall. You understand the workings of the White Tower. Of all of us, you know what we're up against. We need leadership. But I can't channel. Yes, you can. You told me that you've been shielded. Regardless, your understanding of Tyr Angreal has made you the match of any living Aes Sedai. Now, do you have any more excuses or will you accept your responsibility? I can't be penned up here, running the tower. I have to go after the traitors. I think they may be on the trail of the expedition in the Borderlands. Those sisters are in danger because of a report on my desk. I won't hold you back. You are the Amarlin. Do what you must. But make certain that you do these things for the sake of the White Tower, not for the sake of vengeance. So be it. But I will step down as soon as this is finished. I suspect you would have little choice. Once the tower has found its feet again, politics will have its way. Mother. Fine. Now how can I reach the Borderlands in time to help our sisters? You believe that is the Assassin's destination? Then there must be a waygate there. The ways were created ages ago to transport people long distances in little time. A path between waygates, perhaps less than a day's travel, would equal many leagues in the real world. If the Assassin travels the ways, you cannot overtake him any other way. You must follow. Then I will. It's not that simple. The ways are corrupt. The light that once shined there is gone, leaving only a thirsty darkness and something called Makin Shin, the Black Wind. When you travel in the ways, your very soul is in peril. There are guideposts and lines that mark the path to the next waygate, but the stone bridges are pitted and fragile. Some may be gone entirely. This, you must remember. If you hear the wind, run to a waygate. Once you're through, Makinshin will drift away. If you cannot reach a gate, take your own life. I will pray for your soul, Mother. The light send, I will see you again. Waygates used to connect the land. There are many of them, and they can lead anywhere. However, like Shadar Logoth, the ways have corrupted into an evil, independent of the Dark One. The Black Wind will steal the soul of anyone who travels within. I'm surprised that the Assassin dares to walk its paths, but it was an ingenious way to bring an army to Tar Valon. Now he travels the ways again, and I must follow.
You'll never leave the way. Here's a way for you.
The Dark One will be pleased with your death. White cloaks, blood and ashes. The expedition is gone. The tents are here, but the people are missing. Traces of blood lead me to suspect the worst. From the remains, it's clear that the Children of the Light had a hand here. Despite their animosity toward Aes Sedai, I had thought such barbarism beyond even the White Cloaks. Evidently, I was wrong. I must find and rescue the survivors. And woe to any White Cloak in my way.
have guard duty tonight? I don't think so. We finally get some use Shadow out of those spawn. guns.
I've got her! I wonder why the commander hates I to die so much. I'm going back on watch. Thank you. 
might burn you! Intruder! Dearest? Is that you? You'll see the inside of that cell soon enough. The Armorland seat? <laughs> the Children of the Light welcome you to our garrison, Armorland. I don't know if my accommodations are exactly what you're used to, but your stay will be short. So you shouldn't be uncomfortable for long. Why are you here, witch? Am I to believe the strangers claim that the Aes Sedai have declared war on the children? I was hoping that this would be easy. It doesn't matter. There will be plenty of time for questions. Yeah! Dearest. Dearest. 
Not again. Let me die. Cirrus, it's Elena. Can you hear me? What happened? Where is everyone? Elena, the light be praised. Have you come to rescue me? Please, I can't stand it anymore. Stand what? What have they done to you? The questioning. I tell them everything, but they keep putting me to the question. I want to die. Tell me what's happened here. We came here weeks ago to excavate the nearby site. At first, the White Cloaks were curious but wary. They left us alone, but more out of fear than respect. Then one night they attacked. Surprised, mostly asleep, we couldn't defend ourselves. They took us all here to their dungeons. I learned later that a snake-tongued visitor calling himself the Hound told the White Cloaks that we were invaders, the vanguard for an army at Aes Sedai, hoping to claim the excavation site. As ridiculous as that sounds, the garrison commander was irrationally open to suggestion. You see, the commander's father could channel. The Red Aja discovered and gentled the poor man. In the end, his son put him down. He never forgave the Aes Sedai for what happened. In fact, he joined the Children of the Light for the chance to repay us. How do you know all of this? The man explained it to me in detail, many times. He uses me as a target for his anger. But it's worse than that. I've betrayed the Tower Keeper. Betrayed the Tower? How? He was worried about withstanding the forthcoming invasion of Aes Sedai. He needed power. He saw one of us use a Tirangri Al, Elena, and he put it together. We couldn't find a Quendler seal at the site, but it did hide scores of Tirangri Al. He already had some of them decorating the walls, completely oblivious to their true purpose. Right now, he has piles of them in the chamber just off the throne room. He made me. He made me teach him. I didn't want to, but I needed the pain to stop. A white cloak using Tiran Grayal? I've never heard of anything so unbelievable. They hate anything having to do with the One Power. Why haven't his men deserted him? This is a remote garrison. It's completely removed from other outposts. The commander's men love him. They'd march on the slopes of Sheol Ghul if he led them. If he said that black was white, they'd dye their cloaks. He's driven them into a frenzy against the Aes Sedai. They'd accept anything as long as it meant another sister dead. <gasps> what happened to the other Cirrist? Many died from the questioning. A handful managed to escape. They plan to head to a portal stone near the excavation. Pauline was fascinated to find a stone other than the one near the White Tower. Now she actually thought that she was close to discovering the correct symbol that would activate it. Don't know if she... You, stay where you are. The commander wants to speak to the other. Time to be questioned, witch. No, I won't go back, I won't! Serious? Serious! she died, Cirrus told me that the survivors of the expedition were heading for the nearby portal stone in their attempt to escape. I believe I saw this stone in front of the fortress. If I can reach it, I might be able to follow them. These White Cloaks have declared war on the White Tower and forsworn the Light with their actions. I'm leaving this place, and no child of the Light is going to stop me.
We'll never figure out what that big stone out front is. Someone there? Ah! Uh. 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 
Shadow Spawn. I witch! Oh, I said die witch!
The light consume you! Standing around.
My passage through the portal stone world was but a blur, a hazy dream, and I have no idea how much time has passed. I used the only symbol on the stone that had been cleared, so if the expedition came through it, they must have come here. From the surroundings, I'd say that this stone is located in the Mountains of Mist. That's not surprising given that the mountains are home to a number of ancient ruins. However, according to the assassin, Ishmael built his fortress here. Likely, the forces of the Forsaken captured my expedition. I just hope that's all they did.
an unexpected sight, Elena. You followed us? I didn't think anyone would. You obviously have resources that I didn't know about. Perhaps it has something to do with the stole around your neck. The Amarlin's dead. Sephram killed her. I'm here to return the favor. And the tower raised you to Amarlin? Don't take offense, child. But I'm surprised that the entire hall didn't work to prevent that. The hall is empty. The sitters inside the tower were all Black Aja. Once they were exposed, they fled. I suspect they came here to their master's fortress. So, mother? Do you have a plan to get us out of here? Many of our sisters are too injured to walk, and I'm certain that the Forsaken's troops are gathering for an assault upstairs. Your entrance wasn't exactly stealthy. I heard your arrival from my cell. I think we have a little time. The Trollocs are scared and confused. It'll take the Murdral a while to organize the attack. We should use the respite to prepare. Once we've survived the first wave of attack, you might be able to slip out the way I came in. Surviving that wave is the hard part. I'm fit, and so are a few of the sisters and warders, but we have more wounded than not. The guards will come right to the cells to kill as many injured as they can. We have to protect them. We have a little time, but we are going to be hopelessly outnumbered. Trollocs always hunt down the easiest prey. Those convalescing in the dungeons are in the most danger. I have to protect them and figure out a way to compensate for our lack of numbers. <laughs>
and go as far from here as possible. Try to get back to the White Tower if you can. You're coming with us, Keeper. You can't possibly vanquish a Forsaken by yourself. Duty is heavier than a mountain, death lighter than a feather. I am no longer the Keeper. I'm the Amarlin Seat, the Watcher of the Seals. It is my duty to reclaim the Tower's seal. Is this about duty? You're not even thinking about how Sephron killed your predecessor? Don't throw away your life. We need you. Do you know why Ishmael is gathering the seals? I have to imagine that it has something to do with releasing the Dark One. How can I leave when that could be the alternative? Then I stay as well. Don't be wool-headed. The others won't get a league without you. This is what the wheel has weaved for us. And you know it. It wasn't so long ago that I sent you to the Mistress of Novices for taking such an attitude with me, Elena. I haven't been the Amalyn for very long either. But I am the Amalyn, and you will do as I've asked. Don't worry, Pauline. I'll leave as soon as I can. I might even beat you back to the tower. You're going to need the head start. Good luck, Mother. The light illumine you. And you. Farewell. I want revenge against Sephra more than I'm willing to admit, but I must stay focused on the stolen seal. I'm not sure what Ishmael plans to do with it, but the possibilities are terrifying. I'll find the seal, and if I happen to run into the traitor Sephra along the way, so be it. <laughs>
discover a sheaf of ancient and yellowed notes on the desk of this small study. They discuss the Quindalar seals, experiments performed by the Aes Sedai following the closing of the war in the Age of Legends, revealed that the seals had the power to directly affect the Dark One's prism. With just four of the seals, someone could reopen the war. Or contrarily, a ritual could remove this power from the seals, transform them into nothing more than icons of the weaves actually located at Cheol Ghul. Unfortunately, the Aes Sedai of that time were unable to perform the ritual, as the breaking of the world scattered the seals. Until this moment, knowledge of the ritual had been long lost. But now you know.
<laughs> you can't channel. There was a time when you would have been turned away from the White Tower. In this age, it seems that the Aes Sedai take their weakest sister and make her Amerlin. Absolutely pathetic. You come to my house. You kill my servants. You step in the way of my plans. I can't imagine why you would want to attract my attention, but now you have it. Girl, you don't know what pain is, but you're about to find out. Master? You've been to the White Tower recently. Why did they make this powerless wretch their Amerlin? Have female channelers started to go insane now? She was a choice born of desperation. There's no one else. The others are either dead, or they call you master. Why is she still alive? How did she kill my pet sitter? This little Amerlin is not quite as weak as she appears. She uses an arsenal of Tirangriel from the Age of Legends. They've kept her alive so far, but I have rendered her virtually powerless by removing her most potent artifact. This. What is it? I haven't exactly figured it out, mostly because I can't channel. I know it's a weapon without equal, but nothing else. I thought you might discover more. What is this weapon that you've brought to me, girl? Perhaps I'll test it on you after I've divined its use. What happened? What did this do? I've been shielded! You ancient fool! <sighs> Lapdog to the Dark One! Where is he now? Could it be that without his might, you are no more of a threat than her? A powerless wretch? You are Nothing! You know nothing! The shield won't last long. It's only a matter of time until I unravel the weave. Then I will boil your blood in your veins. <laughs> it will last long enough. Long enough to fulfill my own plans. You look at the seals and all you see is black and white. Release the Dark One or seal him in. There are other uses for them. Uses neither of you would probably appreciate. I'm no longer your witless lieutenant. That ended the moment I stepped into Aradol. Shadar Logoth. The city fed me. It gave me strength. It gave me purpose. I am Mordeth, and I will have my revenge on Shaitan. Soul Blighter. Dark One. Too many people have their eyes on the seals. That's why I needed to level the playing field. The Aes Sedai held too. But now the White Tower is in shambles. The new Armorlin seat cannot channel. They are powerless. The White Cloaks discovered two seals in the nearby excavation site. As an ally to the Aes Sedai, they might have sealed off the boar immediately. But now, both sides have declared war. You did an excellent job thinning their ranks. After killing a questioner, there's no turning back. Their commander also looks for the seals, knowing that they are important to you. I think he'd free the Dark One himself before helping you. Which brings me to you, Ishmael. I led your army to their deaths. You have nothing left but your pitiful personal guard. And now you can't even channel. Do you have any fangs left to remove? Most likely not, but perhaps I should make certain. <sighs> later. I'll face you later. I'm carrying one seal and I have one other hidden, but I'll soon collect the remaining two. You can't stop me, so don't try. I will destroy you. My course is clear. I must gather four seals before any of my enemies does the same.
Their plans for the seals are unthinkable. Most likely I'll have to steal the seals from the other's well-guarded citadels, but I suppose the Hound did me a favor in leveling the field. No one can channel. We all depend on whatever Tirangrial we can find. That gives me an edge. The Creator willing, I shall succeed. For the sake of the world, I must. Ah! 
You dare attack me? friend.
you.
According to Ishmael's notes, the right to strengthen the seals can only occur at Shale Ghul, that being the actual location of the Dark One's prison. With a small army at my back, I took the seals and traveled there. The Blight claimed many of my companions, but enough of us survived to reach the slopes of the volcanic mountain with the seals intact. I climbed the slopes with determination. Amerlin, I've been waiting for some time. Out of my way, Hound. I have business here. And I have a choice for you. Before you do anything rash, think this through. I hold your future in my hand. 
hands. With this, you'll be able to channel. You'll be the most powerful Aes Sedai in ages. Wouldn't it be nice to stop relying on those trinkets? I've spent my life without those powers. Why would I need them now? Ah, your words step around the truth without actually lying. You truly are Aes Sedai. Consider this. Without channeling, you'll never keep the Amarlin stole. I'm sure that even now they're plotting to remove you from the position. You've prepared for it your entire life. Take this and rule the tower forever. You want the seals? Of course. Do we have a deal? What are you doing? Something I should have done long ago. No! Wait! You can't do this! You'll lose the artifact, too! I know. Ah, ah, uh, spare me! Remember that I kept you alive, even when Sephiroth wanted you dead. I spared you in Ishmael's fortress. You promised to let me live! You can't lie! You're Aes Sedai! You walked out of that city, but you won't walk out of here. I swear it. Prophesized confrontation with the dragon. Through his agents, the Dark One's touch will continue to be felt everywhere. But that is the fight we know, the duty we take. To keep the shadows at bay, to set the stage for Tom and Gaedon, the last battle when the dragon will decide the fate of the world. But until then, we are safe. Welcome to the Wheel of Time. Dance party! <coughs> the Wheel of Time. That's the biggest trollic I've ever seen. 